Good day. In the previous video, we did the heating curve of an unknown substance, which allowed us to get the melting point. So in this video, we're going to do the cooling curve, which will get us the freezing point. All this information you should have already. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use a slightly different pen color. And so somewhere I'll find blue. And I just want to mark off a couple things. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. It's hard to get everything aligned perfectly in making this PowerPoint. So that's why I just want to take a moment to make that easier. Okay, here's 45. Here's a 50. Okay, so now we're ready to plot. We want to have our heating curve. It came up like this. All the dots, boom, 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 flattened out at 44 and went up. We want that out of the way so all those dots are taken care of because we're going to make new dots. And you can see that's heating curve data. And I want cooling curve data. And so we've got our blue color, we'll confirm that it's blue, and we should be in business. At zero, it's 59.4, so I put a dot roughly there, just under the 60 between the 59. I move one line to the right, and it's dropped to 54.3, which will be right around here, between 54 and 55. Now it's 48.7, I move one line to the right, there's 48, 48.7, so it's fairly close to the 49. And then it's 47.4. And then it's 47.0, 46.8. And another 46.8. And a 46.7. And 47.1, 46.8, and 46.8 again. So you can see I'm just moving one line over each time. 46.9, 46.4, and then 46.8. Three. Then it drops to 42.1, so just a shade above 42, then 41.3, and 40 40.1, 38.7, 38.2, 36.1 and finally 35.2 so I now have all these points and again this is going to be a connect the dot graph we're going to do our best come down and you will have an easier time than I have Moving on the trackpad, but I'm doing my best. Boom, 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 boom. And now, immediately, I write out cooling curve. And you will do the same. But you will not plot this data because you are going to plot your own data. This is simply showing you the technique. So every time we go to the next time, we're just moving one line along here. And all we were doing was going up to the point that matched the temperature. Now there's one last thing we have to do. And that is we look for our flat part. And we make a line. You would use a ruler. And then I write down F, P. And I expect to see that on your graph, FP for freezing point. 
And then one of the questions in the lab is, what's the freezing point? That's from the graph. And according to this, it's about 46.8. Again, this graph where data may be good, it may be bad. The odds are it's bad, since I probably don't want to give away answers. But in the last two videos, we've shown you how to do the graph with the heating curve in the first video, and now the cooling curve. Everything should be done neatly. A nice sharp pencil. Some of you might say, hey, can I use a pen to connect the dots to make it a different color? And that's okay, as long as you do it neatly. But generally, graphs are done in pencil. All this information should be included. And this will be something, this will be the last page of your lab report when you're all done that you will submit. So I hope this helps. Hmm, interesting word. You don't have to include that word in your lab.